ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in once again and welcome back, man. Yeah, another episode, man. Yeah, over here, we probably muffin and you feel me? On this platform, I drop vlogs talking about issues affecting Motherland. Stories from Motherland to the world and stories from the world to Motherland. You dig? And if this is your first time coming, man, I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. And man, it's really a pleasure and honor to have you on board. If you don't know, man, they call me Mr. J. You feel me? I'm a proud Motherlander living in the diaspora. And I do drive vlogs every now and then. So once again, you are welcome. Let me address the elephant in the room, man. I just want to say Happy Easter to everybody, man. I don't know who's watching. If you Catholic, you Christian. And if you celebrate that season like that, man, Happy Easter. All the best during the season, you feel me? Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, if you're not done it, please do not forget, man, give us a thumbs up because the more you do that, the more you help the platform grow, you smell me. Um, so I want us to talk about the recent news that is coming out of another African country, which is a West African country, man, Senegal. Now, Senegal, as you, are, as you all know, man, it's a beautiful country out in the West, and uh, they recently went to the pool and uh, the opposition won, man. This man who came out of nowhere, this guy who just came out of the dark, he just took everybody by surprise. And then he won, man. President-elect, His Excellency, man, Bashiru Jamaye Faye. I hope I'm pronouncing the name well to all of my Senegalese. Brothers and sisters, thank you once again, man, for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. So, this new man who just came into power, was the reason was recently incarcerated and that was because he made he was tag teaming with one of the greatest opposition to the whole hegemony the corrupt system that was in place by president Macky Sall. yes man mr his excellency bashiru was a tax inspector who rose through the ranks this man is home breed or home bred let me say that because he studied in that country went to the university in that country and then he worked as a civil servant in that country before he came into contact with his mentor somebody usman sonko he was actually the one who's supposed to be where this man is at but because the mafia and the, the, the corrupt nature of that country he was disqualified but then he put his right hand man who ran and then he secured the vote. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a few things I want us to take out from this vote. The first thing is this, man. This is a clear sign that there is a wave. There is a new dawn that is blowing through French-speaking African countries. There is a new breeze blowing through. And that breeze is that of <clears throat> we no longer want to hear anything French. We are tired of the colonial master. We are tired of being taken for a ride. Since independence, French-speaking African countries have been facing the same mess. Underdevelopment, corruption, bribery, embezzlement. All of this controlled by their masters, France. I don't want to get into the whole concept of uh, the policies that the French brought to the French colonies all across the world. It's not something which happening in Africa. If you look around the world, everywhere the French colonized or was a colonial master too, that country suffered a whole lot until they kicked the French out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this election showed that aspect to things. And knowing rightfully well that in the Sahel, there have been countries that, you know, the western part of Africa, countries that have already kicked the French out and are moving towards a new direction. The Republic of Mali, the Republic of Burkina Faso, the Republic of Niger, Guinea, a whole lot of them kicked this ish out. They kicked this colonial master out. Now, Senegal is another big giant country in the west of Africa who just decided that you know what we are no longer gonna go for that ride with these people man the click that the french had in that country senegal has never had an issue no civil war no military takeover it's a democratic system but we all know what wanted to happen the president postponed the election 
which didn't turn out well. Now, I hope that he should be held responsible for whatever life that were lost during that his little period that he was trying to manipulate and play things. Now, let's come back to this whole election. The second thing that we can learn from this election is that the youths of Africa are waking up. If you see, man, the new wave that is occurring, all these countries that have kicked out their ancestral imperialist and colonial masters and the puppets, they are taking a new route because youths got tired. We cannot be from a continent where majority of the population is the youthful age, but we have no un we have unemployment. We have people dying in the Mediterranean to find greener pastures. Whereas our leaders are pilfering, they are helping colonial masters, Western people, pilfer our resources, and they are getting kickbacks. So that is the second thing because we all know that. The population of that beautiful country, Senegal, more than 60% is the youth, man. And when you look at the president that was just elected, Mr. Bashiru Diamaye Faye, man, he's 44, a young guy. This is going to be the first young elected president in this continent of Africa. Think about it, 2024, that is when the first young president is democratically elected people got tired no longer want whatever is happening africa has to change and as a fire spirit man, immediately he took over the acceptance speech already sets the stage by the way let me just say this his political mentor man usmani uh usman sonko is going to definitely be part of his administration and you best believe you we are going to see a whole lot of drastic changes drastic changes i will end this vlog by saying this do you think that there are more young african presidents who are going to be democratically elected and do you think that this is the time for the youth in africa to actively get involved in that civil life in politics and to decide elections that's my time ladies and gentlemen i want to hear from you man leave a comment man let's talk about things like this from me to you be good be nice man we out of here stay blessed and keep watching you feel me